Good afternoon and welcome to another edition of MWO Serial Reviews. I'm your host, Bill Johnson, and back today, the Fruity Rebel. By popular demand. Yeah, <laughs> in our studio. It's, it's very nice. In the Bill, Bill Johnson studio. <laughs> BJ Studios? BJ Studios. Paid for by the Urban Plum. <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, so I've been really trying to catch up. I've got like eight boxes of cereal at the crib. Mm -hmm. and um, You've been doing well. I've been getting alerts like every day or so. Every other day. Yes. I, did you see the Apple Jacks? You should check that I have out. not seen that one yet, but it's bookmarked as my, in my watch later tab. Slightly inebriated in that one, I, <laughs> I think. I'm excited now. I don't remember. I'm I don't know if I've ever seen you inebriated. You will if you watch that one. I that mean, video. like, we gotta make that happen. We can do that. Yeah. Trust me, it's easy. It only takes <laughs> three beers. Okay. And then I'm I've like, heard, I've heard stories. Ah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you have. <laughs> Um, so I'm trying to catch up on all these Halloween ones. Mm -hmm. I think we still have a couple to go. I mean, we're only a couple weeks behind. We are. So. But this one's exciting because from what I've heard, you've never had it. I have never had it. Wow. I have none of the, from this chain Ring of, uh, or brand of cereal. From the Monster cereal. Yes, the Monster General cereal. Mills. I've never had any of those. So we know that you would not enjoy Count Chocolate. I would not. No chocolate for me. No chocolate for you. Um, so there's Boo Berry, which is the other one. That I can, one I might enjoy. I can gladly save that for you. We haven't done it yet. Well, let's do it. So let's let's do this today. I'm gonna, mm -hmm. You know, I want you to do the honors. Oh, thank you. Open it up. I'm weak as hell, right. as everyone's seen. Let's see. I just had a burger. Burped. Disgusting. <laughs> Look at how strong you are. I work out. Okay. What do you got? Not much. Really? <laughs> not, not as a... No. Yeah, it's just... It's like nothing. Yeah. Although the look of it reminds me of... Oh, the um... And you did them. The uh, Fruity Pebble, the Fruity Fruity Pebbles? Not Fruity Pebbles, the Fruity... Lucky Charms. That's what they look like. Yeah, that's right. They look exactly like that. And I don't know who makes Lucky Charms. General Mills. I go to you for this information. You do. <laughs> um, Is that? Yeah, General Mills. General Mills. So this could potentially be the same cereal. Yeah. With Although just different shapes. It's supposed to. Originally, they used to advertise that this was a strawberry flavored cereal. I can see they've gone away from that. They're just like it's pink. Yeah. There's no chance it tastes well, like Well, strawberry, oh, artificial strawberry flavor. Sorry, I'm right. Yeah. So, um, as usual, only 130 calories, 9 grams of sugar. I'm always surprised that these are not worse for you. Well, this is my lunch, so well, I don't care if it had 50 grams of sugar. It's I just inside. had a burger, so <laughs> I'm going to just sample this today. I'm going to go... And as Bill Johnson likes to say, high and deep. Just pile on high and deep. It's exciting. So it's like little ghosts. Whee! Like Pac-Man ghosts. And then like traditional ghosts. Marshmallows. The marshmallows are crunchy, so... Ooh, crunchy? Well, I guess try, yeah. That's how they should be. If they're squishy, mm. they're stale. These, this is where the strawberry flavor is coming from. That I, I like the the flavor of the marshmallows. They're pretty strong. Yeah, they're very strong strawberry artificial flavor. Okay, this does taste different from the Lucky Charm. It does. Cereals. I think these pieces might be the same. It tastes different to me. I don't know. It's been so long. <laughs> Maybe because these have a distinct flavor as strawberry, but the Lucky Charms one were just fruity. I think they did a good job with the strawberry here. Mm. All right, let's do this. Smoke it up. The dry test was very good. I'm pleased. I put that in a little baggie. Absolutely. Yeah. This is all gonna be a long review. My stomach's already bubbling. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Very curious because you've never had it. Mm -mm. This was a childhood favorite for me. <sighs> Excuse me. Moment of truth. Here we go. For me. It's 
Oh. There was like a delayed flavor explosion for me. Mm hmm It's a good cereal. The marshmallows are really, yeah. really flavorful. I like that. They're doing a good job. I've waited 28 years to have this. And I'm pleasantly pleased. Mm -hmm. Well, you'll have to wait till the next Halloween to have it again. General Mills, what are you doing? Yeah. This is one of your better cereals. Just have it available. That's good. I like that. Wow, I'm it, very, and it does very taste happy different than the Lucky Charms. I didn't really like the, the fruity Lucky Charms, but I do like this. It is very different. I'm happy about that. I think the marshmallows really make this. Mm -hmm. They flavored the marshmallows. You don't normally see that. No. You normally just get a, a flat marshmallow. marshmallow. That's here it is, marshmallow. We put it in everything. But this one is like, no, these taste like our some. artificial <laughs> strawberry flavor is happening in the marshmallow. Maybe that's the that's key. smart because the, the cereal itself. I don't, I don't know what flavor is happening there. Just sugar, sugar. An artificial cereal. strawberry that I can't barely taste. But maybe that's the key. Mm -hmm. Maybe everybody should flavor their marshmallows. I don't know why this is like. A, a light bulb moment for anybody, yeah. <laughs> but clearly it is. The Fruity Rebel. Always with great evaluation of cereal. I take my cereal eating you really do. seriously. Recently I've done some reviews where I've really phoned it in. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I'll eat it and I'm like, yeah, it's a seven. Thanks, have a nice life. But um, I'm gonna try to pick that up. Um, I think it's number time. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to give it a good number. I mm -hmm. feel like really positive about it. This is, this is nice. I enjoy this. I'm going to go, I'm going to give this like a, I'm going to go nine. Ooh. That's exciting. I think it's my first nine. Mm -hmm. Nine out of ten. 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 The past couple times, but I'm gonna go with a nine as well. I'm gonna copy you. There you go. I'm copying you. Mind exploding. <laughs> um, I was borderline wanted to go 9.5, but it doesn't. It is missing just a little explosion because if I went mm -hmm. nine five or ten, I would have to regard it as one of the greatest cereals of all time. True. And I can't say that it's quite there. Like Count Chocula, I gave a ten. Oh. You wouldn't give it a 10, but um, <laughs> Count Chocula is a far superior cereal. I think I knew that going into this. And then I feel like this one, in, if memory serves, is more superior than Boo Berry. Mm. That's my recollection. Could be different. But I guess it makes sense that they would all be somewhere in the same range. Right. Being as how it's part of the Monsters cereals. Yeah. This should be out all year, Jeff mm -hmm. knows. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I mean, it's a nine. It's a double nine. From two Let's cereal people. Let's make that happen. Yeah, why? why the whole family back? of monsters. Granted, the older you get, the faster a year goes. But come on. Yeah, but like, still. We don't need to wait that long. At least we can enjoy it with monster cereals all year round. Yeah. They used to have Yummy Mummy as well. That was really good. What flavor is that? Just random fruit. It was like okay. all over the place. And then they had Fruit Fruit. But that was before my time. I never had it. I think they re-released it. My friend said he saw it in Colorado last year. But I've, I've never seen it re-released. So yeah. well, they, Maybe we gotta go to Colorado. If somebody can send me a box of Fruit Fruit, I would love to have it. Thank you. We'll send you the address to the BJ Studios. Yes. BJ Studios, Urban Plum. <laughs> so, double nine, I'm pretty happy about it. Very excited. Great to have you back. Great Thanks to be again. back. I feel like Booberry, we should do that. We have next. to. Yeah. All right. I'm excited about it. So, mm -hmm. for on my end, it's a nine. For you, it's a nine. 
and I just say thank you for joining us and like, subscribe, comment down below, tell us what your favorite Halloween themed cereal is and uh, what's your favorite monster cereal? I'd love to see in the comments down below what that is. Anything else my friend? My favorite is now Frankenberry. Yes, uh, and I, <laughs> I, I predict it will be your favorite. Yeah, it probably will. But who knows, maybe Boo Berry is good. Look, there's a guy's butt crack over there. Fun stuff. You never know what you're gonna get. You never know. I could zoom in on that, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna let it go. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye. Bye.